Hello everyone, my name is Philip and I'm uh, the author of Insignificant Little Vermin, which is this swords and sorcery interactive short story. And I would like to show you a little bit of what's inside, how this works and uh, you know what, what the code looks like even. Uh, so we start this uh, game or book uh, with this um, you know, fight between you and uh, Brianna, who is your friend, and an orc, a Groot, uh, who is armed and wants to kill you. Um, so you can choose actions for your player character, player character, and there is some luck involved. And uh, and then you can read what happened in the game world. Uh, like you know, you actually do kick uh, a Groot on his feet in this case, and he rolls your dad's life, and. Uh, you know, he tries to scramble out of harm's way and Brianna kicks his sword off. Uh, you can pick up the sword, uh, you can swing it at Argoth, Argoth and see, you know, what happens, and so on and so forth. Um, so, this is how it looks like for the player. Let's see how this looks like um, in code for, for, for me as the author. So. This is basically the whole fight, these 50-ish lines of code. That's, that's the fight that we just saw. And uh, it starts with you know, saying what, who Agruth is. Uh, he's an actor. Uh, he has a proper noun, uh, Agruth, and uh, he has a pronoun, he. Um, he has some hit points and uh, you know, he is part of a team. Uh, so, so that's a growth, and then we actually initialize the fight situation uh, where it's your party, which is you and Brianna in the in the start, and then uh, against you there's a growth, and uh, then then there is quite a lot. In this case, this is the first fight, so so I have quite a lot of scripted things. I want to make sure that the first fight is not only um, interesting in terms of gameplay, but there's actually something uh, happening um, other than that. Uh, and there's, you know, um, there are quotes and there's some characterization and some motivation behind all this. Uh, so, but, but like to be clear, you don't need, this, this doesn't need to be here and, and uh, you can have a fight without any of these scripted things. Mm. And so this is it. This is basically these are the, the different things that Agroth says during the fight. Uh, but otherwise, it's it's just uh, a fight that is set up between you and and him and and Brian. All right, let's do something interesting. Uh, let's add. Let, let, let's change the situation. So uh, I'm going to add an item on the ground uh, so that uh, you know we'll, uh, we'll see what. What happens, and the 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 item will be a sword, I guess. Let's do a sword, and let's name it a rusty sword. A very inventive, as you can see, and we'll, let's see what that gives us. So, so we just added an item on the ground uh, for this particular situation. We can see that the, the actions, uh, the, there's an action that wasn't there before. We can actually pick up the sword. Let's not do that. Let's, uh, let me just punch a group and let's see what Brianna does. So Brianna, uh, so here's the, you know, you punch a group in the jaw, and he staggers off balance, that's good. Brianna picks the rusty sword up. So she, you know, sees that um, uh, there's some, artificial intelligence involved. So so she will, uh, if she sees a sword on the ground, she will pick it up. And as you can see, uh, there's artificial intelligence with Agroth because he swings at her, not you. Right? Be before it was uh, often directed at you, and now Agroth knows that Brianna is the more dangerous one. Uh, but he's out of balance because you punched him previously, so uh, that doesn't work and you know and we can continue now it's 
uh, a fight between Akruth and Brianna with swords and you just basically, you know, trying to help. Um, so that's it for now. I, I didn't want this to be too long, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, uh, please do ask. And thanks for watching.